talks about him. Hey guys, I'm Nick Meister, and welcome back to Let's Play Hitman Absolution. Next stop on our journey is Blackwater Park. It's a place that everyone's been talking about. Wonder what's gonna happen. The suspense is killing me. Mr. Robo Hand and his second in command. Hey there, fuckface. Alright, dickhead, where's the girl? <laughs> like 14 year olds in the schoolyard. <laughs> oh, Layla. See? Huh. Girls one Victoria piece. looks like she's kind of gained some that weight. Or something. Ten million right not, now. Not that there's like anything wrong me. with that. It's just well, now about the money. Kind of odd. I don't have that kind of signing authority. You what? You don't have what? Uh oh. Are you fucking kidding me? You made him mad now. Oh, no, no, no. See, that's not how this works, partner. Cause you better find someone who's got the authority right now, or the deal's over. You got the three. Well, let me talk to my superior. Three. <laughs> oh. <The fuck? laughs> What the fuck are you doing? God, oh, damn it. Did that upset you? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, thank God. It was just uh, Sheriff Skirky's uh, dominatrix. Right now. And you fuck with me, it'll be ten million more. Throw in the split tail. Wait a second. What the fuck does split tail mean? Hold on a second. Uh, what? Uh, I don't think. There's any fish up on that rooftop? Well, let's check UrbanDictionary.com. Let's see here. Uh, huh. All right. It's kind of specific. Seems kind of clever for a, a redneck or a hillbilly, but I guess that makes sense. Okay, All right. Asshole. Sorry about that. I just point. It's driving me crazy. Nice piece of ass, honey. What are you doing with limp dick? Pig. You have no idea. Hey, fuck off! Where's the girl? <laughs> hey. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll give you a call in a little while. I'll let you know where you can find Victoria. Come on, darling. Making money makes me horny. You gave that psychopath our money just like that? Yeah, well, he's not as dumb as he looks. Seriously, a psychopath? Nobody outruns the asses. <clears throat> it's kind of a strange thing to say for someone who works for a a company that assassinates people, but hey. <laughs> Benjamin Travis just uh, got punked. <clears throat> So anyway, this is Blackwater Park. It's a fancy, upscale, residential building in the middle of Chicago somewhere. It's pretty cool looking, especially the top. Where we'll, uh... What? Where'd your car go, dude? <laughs> where, where does Hearst go? I took a taxi instead. <laughs> Alright, so. Blackwater Park. It's a difficult stage uh, to complete because if you get into a firefight, well, it's nearly unwinnable. And sneaking around isn't very easy either. Let's uh, go in the front door and try our luck there. Beats. Beats me. I just hope we can get in. Hey, uh, excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, sir, ma'am. Blackwater is temporarily shut down. No one can enter, and no one can leave. Um, excuse me, we live here. I understand, but there is a potential threat. What kind of threat? Yeah, we're not sure, ma'am. You gotta... you gotta be kidding me! I don't believe it. You don't get it. We live here. I understand. Uh, he's not deaf, now, jackass. you must understand. There is a potential threat here. So please, I gotta tell you guys, try and find some um, other accommodation tonight. Well, working in the service industry and the hospitality industry, it sucks. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, too. if any of you boys or girls are in college right now, work your asses off, because if you graduate and you have to do what I do, you're gonna hate yourself. 
I think these douchebags have more to say, so let's listen in. I was supposed to have the guys over for beer and video games. My wife never let Beer and video happen. games? Get it? Because this if is a video a game. <laughs> my dog is up there alone. Probably trash the entire place by now. So, uh, where are you going to stay tonight? I don't know. I tried getting hold of my sister, right? Then anyway, I, I want to take a quick look around uh, this lobby here time. because... You don't screw the that. artists put a lot of work into this game, as shitty as it is. I really like the roof here. I like the design. I guess it's kind of a, an art deco... Uh, well, there's another word I'm looking for. It was a popular style in the 1920s, but I can't... I just, I can't it's in my head, I just can't get it out. Uh, Alright, so... Just walking into the lobby is a no-go, of course, because... Blackwater Park is locked down in anticipation of our arrival. Lots of lovely scenery there. So, uh, I just like to point out that these people aren't actually police, they're just security guards. Even though they have some police uh, voice clips, which is kind of weird. So, uh, yeah, just let a plumber through. Papers were in order. Once that guy says that, that gives us our opening to uh, to get back here, which is of course a restricted area. This guy's just standing here, mind his own business, and we're gonna pull him over no. here. There we go, and put him to sleep. There you go. I'm just gonna borrow his clothes. Yeah, I'm sure he won't get pneumonia lying out here in the rain in his underwear, but hey. There we go. Now, uh, at this point, I could turn around and walk through the lobby, but the problem with that is that there's a lot of uh, security guards in the lobby, which means that we have to spend a lot of time sneaking around. And if you've been watching these series of videos, you know by now that that's really no fun at all, so... I'm gonna pick a. I'm gonna pick a better outfit for uh, for that purpose, because in Blackwater Park, unlike um, a lot of levels in this game, there's actually more than two outfits to choose from. So what we're gonna do is just gonna sneak around here, try not to get caught. Ugh. There we go. So, the outfit we want uh, to infiltrate through the lobby is actually the plumber. Because the plumber is nowhere to be found in the lobby, yet he's still allowed to be there. Which means that uh, getting through that way will be very easy with the plumber's outfit. All right. Don't go wet now. <laughs> this guy's being a jackass to his co-worker. Make him do all the fucking work. I can relate to that. And I'm just gonna wait for these guys to get past hey, each other. I ain't gonna bother you. Oh, don't worry. You're not gonna bother me at all. Actually, you're gonna be big help. There you go. I'm just gonna strangle this innocent man and drag him down the hall here. Now, uh, I don't know if you noticed it, but, uh, when we, when we entered this area of the game, uh, there was another entrance. Um, there was an entrance kind of the back way. Hey, buddy, and I, got caught. I don't think you should be here. I think you should be knocked the fuck out. There you go. And of course the guy next door hears everything. You know, a punch in the face really isn't that loud. But anyway, like I was saying, there's there is an entrance over to the right here. Uh, but the problem with that is that there's a lot of uh, plumbers, and because they're dressed as a plumber or easy, maintenance guy, uh, that would involve a lot of sneaking, which is what we're trying to avoid. So I'm just going to take a jog over here. Running, I'm running. Hello. Okay. Hmm. Looks suspicious. Yeah, you look suspicious. So, uh, now dressed as a plumber, we got nothing to worry about. 
smooth sailing from here on in. Let's move along, sir. Please be you are not a police officer, douchebag. So, uh, here's some more offensive shit. There was sexism and violence towards women, but now there's homophobia too, I guess. Hey, at least you're not out in the rain. Oh, you seen those monkey robots upstairs? Carrying enough weapons to start World War III? Nah, you ask me if I'd rather be outside in the rain? Um, hell yes. <laughs> okay, jeez, chill. Um, don't you tell me to relax. I know my no, rights, mister. Okay? And I got people bitching at me about not being able to leave, okay? Awesome. Wow. <laughs> you really love your job, huh? <laughs> don't get me started. Yeah, I think I already have. Yeah, that voice actor was having fun. Um. I need the manager at temp. If you see him, ask him to find me. I'll open the elevator doors for him. Don't worry about that. I can use the override switch. <laughs> no one but me lets people into that elevator. Understood? Okay, jeez, chill. What did you say? Yes, ma'am, understood. Uh, sorry, ma'am. That's what it sounded like. So, uh, this voice actress, she, uh, if you see anything, let excuse us Excuse me. If you think you can handle the situation, you're wrong. Why would I think I can handle the situation? I'm just a fucking plumber. And why are you wearing high heels? So at this point, I guess that guy, he left out in the rain, his underwear was found. And because of that, the, the, uh, the concierge here is freaking out. And we can't hear another lovely bit of dialogue from his lips, so we're just gonna move on. Okay. Um, right, so there's the override switch for the elevator we need to get into, the one that that lady was yelling at the hey, guy buddy. about. How you doing? Um, and uh, one way you can do it is you can sneak in and press the button, of course. And, uh,. Okay, so here's the floor manager that lady was talking about. Actually, if we dress up as hey, him, How you doing? she'll just let us right up. And that's a pretty easy way to get in, but we're going to do something a little more interesting, I think. There we go. And let's just head back to the projector. Once we, uh, once we get this movie up and going, it's going to distract a lot of the security force, and we're going to... Uh, have an easier time accessing that button and getting into the elevator. Just gotta wait for no one, wait for people to stop looking at me. Here we go. Cool. I wanted to learn this for a while. Since close combat hey. encounters often limits you to only making contact once. You find the techniques extremely effective. We're gonna go through okay. some distracting Fine. techniques and block. And a good day to you, use, sir. Some punches you might not know. So while these guys are watching their little self-defense videos, trying to become real badasses, like 47. Yeah, right. I'm gonna sneak over here and try to press the button. There we go. All we do is just sneak around and. Uh, Got a guy oh. in a well, how do you know I'm wearing a costume? Put down your... It's not a costume, I'm just dressed to serve. Alright, so... My whole plan goes to shit, as you can see. And at this point, I try to get away. They're like a plenty of instincts, so I figured I'm just gonna walk out while everyone's distracted by all the dead bodies. But I just can't... Seriously, guy? Get the fuck out of the way. What the... God damn it. Alright. I'm gonna try to hide in the corner here. Sweep the area. And fuck. Okay, that was close. Alright, just gonna walk out here. And up oh, the game crashed. <laughs> you know, my computer is a beast. I spent about 1200 bucks on it, making it myself. But, uh... Absolution still manages to crash that shit sometimes. When I'm recording, I don't know why. Hey there. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were someone else. I can only hope that uh, my rig is ready for the next gen games. So anyway, I figured I'd just use the manager's outfit since it's easy and 
to be honest, I was driving myself half crazy recording uh, Blackwater Park. So, uh, while he's busy checking out that screwdriver on the ground, there we go. And we're gonna dress up as him. There we go. Nice. Looking very snazzy. There we go. I need to take my screwdriver back just in case. And uh, we're ready. We're ready to go. We're ready to go upstairs to the next section of the game. All I have to do now is find the security uh, manager. A tough lady, a very serious lady with high heels and a tie on. She's usually either in the security room or in the lobby. She's not in there. What are you on? Ah, oh, there she is. Got it, asshole. Isn't she lovely? Like a pit viper. Tell him he has five minutes. I'll meet him in the conference room. Well, you can meet us right here, actually. About time. Come on. Whoa, ho, oh, okay, lady. Jesus. I was busy smoking cigarettes inside. Ugh, she is such a class A bitch. Yeah, I do her. <laughs> hey. You know, because of that bitch, we don't even have access to the upstairs. All right, I'm waiting, you fucking... Over there. Okay, there you, you go. To do my Get back here as soon as you're done. I'll put my cutlets in. We'll okay, I will make sure to do that. Yeah, I don't care, though. Goodbye. You are so primitive. I like that. There you are. It's a bitch who's ready to blow. You better go find her. What are you, you deaf, dumb, and blind? I just fucking spoke to her. <laughs> Whoa! What? Was that an invisible bullet or something? That was weird. Mr. Dexter, he shot out the camera in the elevator. Coming our way. Okay. Yes, sir, Ray. You know, they say well can be a great burden, but I'm willing to take it on, I'll tell you. Oh, they put her necklace back on. That's good. Holy shit! Yes! That's a lot of fucking do Ray me right there, and that's ours! <laughs> that's mine! Here, buy yourself some lipstick. God damn, that's a lot of money. Huh. Yeah. What? Fuck! Are you fucking kidding me? What does it take to kill this son of a bitch? I want him dead right now. You kill him right now, you hear me? You think you can do that? No, of course you can't do that, because you're a bunch of fucking pussies. I have to do fucking everything around here. Easy, Jesus baby. fucking Christ. It's okay, baby. No, it's not okay. That bald fuck is coming to kick my uh -huh. ass. This is exactly Jesus, what we're going to do. no, fuck. Layla's got what it takes to stop any man. Ugh. It's kind of like a porno face. You know, a porno no, face. It's not really a sexy face, but all the women make it in the pornos Come anyway. Here. So... Come on, Angel. Let's go. Yeah, at this point... Count on you. I got this. At this point, I was thinking, wait, does Layla have some kind of superpowers we don't know about yet? Because, uh... <laughs> Because that's the kind of impression I got the first time I was playing this game. But, uh... No, no... What? Uh, okay. Uh, thanks for letting me know that. Alright. Anyway, uh... What? On the 22nd floor, it's number 22 on its number 25. It's number 55 on the second floor. Jesus, <laughs> what the fuck is this guy? What's wrong with me? Huh? Oh, you think I got dyslexia? Oh, god, I mean, you think I'm just stupid? Man, I'm probably just stupid. That's what my mom would say. Just stupid. You think if she could test it, maybe I should get tested. Is there a test for dyslexia? Jesus Christ. Whoa, dude, you got a gun! How cool is that? Uh oh. Oh, Jesus. He didn't mean no harm. He was just very strange. It's just a very strange man dressed up as a ninja. Yes. Man, can you imagine having to two deliveries for sushi dressed as a fucking ninja? He probably gets paid minimum wage, too. I don't know what minimum wage is in the state of Illinois, but I bet it's not very much. 
I know in Massachusetts they're trying to raise the minimum wage up to 11 by 2015. I hope that happens. <laughs> so, um, what I'm going to do here, and I'll eventually succeed, but not right away, is I'm going to try a trick that a lot of YouTubers use uh, that makes this, this section of the game a little bit easier. Now, it doesn't have anything to do with this lady here. She's just an unfortunate uh, casualty in 47's war against the agency. But basically, what you want to do is you want to shoot that wall to attract a particular type of guard. Now Layla's got four special bodyguards that follow her around in the stage. And they all got masks like this. And uh, they're actually a different type of guard from... They're not just dressed differently like you might think they are. So that means that the only people who recognize us from below our cover are the three other guards still left in the stage. Let me get something very straight. The man who wants our skin has a higher body count than all of you put together. So unless you want to add to his numbers, I suggest you show some fucking energy. So there's Layla, our target, our and I want you to take note of the fact that her little portrait in the upper right-hand corner has her nearly naked. That comes up later, I assure you of that. But before we get around to killing, I figured we'd look around because uh, Dexter's penthouse is quite the museum. There's a lot of interesting stuff in it. I'd like to have a home like this. Just lots of interesting things for all my adventures. Of course, <laughs> I don't have adventures. I just sit at home and play video games. <laughs> there you go. It's also a nice place to commit random murders. What the? We have an accident. Checking it out. Yeah, an accident. That's right. Come on. Can't wait all day. <laughs> so uh, let's keep looking around. It's easy to get lost in this place, I'll tell you that. I, uh... I wasted a lot of uh, hard drive space recording things that didn't really need to be recorded because... Okay, a fury box. I wonder if they ever thought about putting that in the game. Not really sure what a fury box would do. Okay. I think we've come across another victim here. Yeah, get off there, you fucking fuck. There. And, uh... I don't know why I'm shooting Poseidon there. Or Merman, or whatever the hell it is. I guess I just felt like it. Hmm. Let's see. There's Layla again. So here's a portrait of an old man dressed like Dexter. I'm not really sure who that guy's supposed to be. Maybe he was just borrowing Dexter's hat and coat, or whatever. Hmm. Sir, it's an honor having you guys here. Oh, you know what? You know what I really don't like? Are suck-ups. I really hate suck-ups. So, uh, yeah. Hey, nice gun. Uh, thanks. Did you see it when I blew that lady's brains out? Probably not, right? Okay. So, the first way to kill Layla is to do... Something to her sushi here. Hey, 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 her blood sushi. The sushi that a man died for. Here, and it's to go up here into this room. Uh, which has a bunch of laser beams in it. And steal this poison here. The Uwa tribe poison. Now, I did set off the alarm, but... Uh, it doesn't really matter because we're dressed up in, a, in an outfit that's unrecognizable. And even if you don't have an outfit that's unrecognizable, you can always just hide in the back because they just assume it's a false alarm. Right, so. We head back here to where the sushi is laid out, and as luck would have it, Layla's right there. And we just dump all that poison right in the sushi, right in front of her, and that doesn't seem to bother her at all, so. Yeah. Okay. And she's about to go over there and take a nibble. This sector's clear. We're moving further in. And, uh... What? 
Seriously? Nothing? Huh. I mean, there's like green gas wafting off the sushi. Jesus. Maybe she does have superpowers. I don't know. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to... Whoa! Hey, oh, shit. Okay. Hey, you didn't hear me. Well, of course I didn't hear you. I got headphones on. I'm listening to music here. When I talk to you... <laughs> What's so funny? So I guess Layla freaking out here, uh, distracted the guards and, uh... What? What are you so talking about? Pretty, That's a disco ball. So pretty. <sighs> you cute hey. little silly willy bugs. There you are. Thought you could get away. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> huh. All except for me. I'm free. Whoa. There she goes. So that's one way we could kill her, but I'm gonna pass on that. Moving along. And, uh, oh, here we got a samurai sword. Not bad. Yeah, not bad at all. Hmm. Oh, moving along. Yeah, this guy we're expecting? I heard about. Yeah. Him. Don't start with the rumors. It's useless. No, I want to hear. I just want to say, if Roy's right, we are in short supply of kryptonite. Well, yeah, I think all that stuff is stored in uh, the Fortress of Solitude, right? I mean, it's pretty hard to get into there. It's kind of hard to, you know, get it. You gotta sign all sorts of papers and. What's huh? with the whale skeleton? Are you kidding me? What he bought it from the oh. museum or what? Did you not see the painting of Mr. Dexter with? Moby Dick over he there. That thing. So here's another room where you can kill Layla in a couple of ways. With this harpoon gun, of course. And also with this big ass whale here. So, first things first, you gotta sit here and wait a few minutes. Well, here she comes. I actually took out my tablet and started reading, <laughs> just waiting for her to come. There she is. So. When she gets close enough, you want to turn on the model factory here. There we go. And everyone, all these guards who were enamored with Dexter and his legacy are going to come on over and check it out. You know, none of, none of, them, none of them could get up the nerve to, to press the button themselves, even though they really wanted to. I mean, Dexter's just so cool, isn't he? Uh, but Layla isn't having any of that shit. Yeah. Listen to that crap again. There we go. Nice. Well, that's a lot of dead people, huh? You know, in Blood Money, it just lets you enjoy all that death, but not in Absolution. Just. Right. So. Another way you can do it, of course, is the harpoon gun. And we hit the model factory again, just to make sure that she's in the path of our weapon. Nice. And you know you did it right when you get the slow mo. Situation intensified. Position stat. Ambulance arriving in ten. And uh, just for kicks. Beware, target is in disguise. <laughs> yeah. Nice. But uh, we're gonna pass on that too. Look, we we got a problem. I have an I have a more interesting way to kill Layla coming up. So, let's, uh, let's pick up this Ultra Max here. Nice. I don't know if we're going to use it or not, but it's nice to have anyway. Oh. Is there anything else we haven't seen yet? Well, I think there is. That's coming up pretty soon. Hmm. Does this guy have more than one pool table? Okay, so that's the panic room, but we'll, we'll get to that later. And here's a door locked with a key card that's kind of hard to find. You can always just go around, though, so it's not really necessary to have that card. Oh, poor Sushi Ninja. We barely knew you. You dyslexic motherfucker. <laughs> Alright. Um, 
At this point, I get lost, so yeah. We're back up here where the, the security room is with the poison in it, but we're not going to head in there this time. We're going to head into another room on the right here. Hey, 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 wait a minute. I have orders to check all rooms. Mr. Dexter doesn't want anyone in here, man. How can we secure all rooms if we... This room is off limits. Hey, come on, let's face it. The room's not going to be used what? anymore. Mr. Dexter still has faith. Faith in what? His son's been missing for days oh. now. Call it morning or whatever you Call want. This room is sacred to him for the time being, so it's off limits. Yeah, I better not fuck with that, huh? We just came from there. Nothing to report. Anyway, they're gonna fuck off, so we're gonna go in here. And, uh, here's his room. Oh. Huh. Oh, charming guy, that Dexter, huh? I mean, Lenny Dexter, that is. So, another way you can kill Layla is by sniping her from this, uh, this window here. But she's gonna take a while to get there, so... Let's just take a look around the room while, she, while we wait for her, right? Well, seems like Hope is still a very important place to him, even though he lives in Chicago. He's from Chicago. Got a Vengeability pinball machine there. A bong, of course. And, uh, Playman. Huh. Wait a second. What? Oh. Get the chicks you want. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that fucking figures. Oh, boy. There's a ukulele. <laughs> I wonder if he plays. Oh, what else? Some very strange paintings. Okay. Whew! Okay, so... I think Layla is almost here. Yeah, there she is. And I'm not really sure who's spotting us, but we're just gonna duck behind here. And, uh, there we go. And... Yeah, want to take out the guard behind her too, just so she doesn't rat us out. And Layla is dead. She's history. But you know, that's not the best way to kill Layla. <laughs> it's not the most interesting or the most shocking way to kill Layla. Well, the best way to kill Layla is coming up right now. So, get ready for something. This time, I'm not going to steal someone's outfit. I'm just going to sneak on through uh, Metal Gear Solid Ninja Gaiden Sushi Delivery Guy style. Going to wait for Miss High Heels to turn around. And they really think it was a good idea for a woman working security to be wearing high heels. I mean, the men are wearing normal shoes. Um, but the women, they're wearing high heels, even though they're expected to do all the things the men are expected to do, I assume. I mean, they're carrying around guns and things. Right, so we really lucked out when Layla took uh, the left path there, because if she took the right path, sneaking through is much harder. But because she took the left path, it's a really pretty much a cakewalk. I'll wait for them to pass. And I'm gonna walk you know, over here. It does get a little hairy trying to Just sneak through. I'll, I'll grant you that. And at this point, I guess you could um, distract uh, this guard into looking over to the left, but. We don't have to bother doing that now. All I have to do is just reach this door here, and we're home free. There we go. What? What's this? You're a hard man to kill. I love a hard man. Oh my god. Where's Victoria? Vicky. Vicky. <laughs> you know, I really like the way your skin is passing through your shirt. That's really sexy. Let's talk about us. Oh my god. Guys, she's getting naked. Do you think she really likes us? Oh my god. Better yet. Let's not talk at all. When was the last time you were Oh, she's gonna show us her boobies. Alright. 
Oh man, she really likes us. Die! Fall down! Die! Fall! Oh. Oh. I guess that was kind of overkill. My bad. Oh, you remember what happened last time a, a lady got us alone in a room? Ugh. That's gross. I'm sorry about that. I, uh... Um, so, Layla has a, a gold-plated gun. Who knows if it's really gold. It's probably just some shitty metal that looks like gold, right? Yeah. We remember what happened in Blood Money. She stabbed us with a knife. Can't let that happen. So we had to take her down. Um, I think we all remember her. It's not really much to look at around here. It's not really much of a safe room because there's a big window right above the bed. I mean, they could easily kill you from there, right? Layla, get your ass up here. We're leaving. Oh, her ass is full of holes, buddy. Inside the chopper. I'm gonna take you apart atom by atom and breed you like a prize bull. Oh, don't look so shocked, girl. After all, they grew you in a test tube. My lab should fly right at home. Oh, don't tell me you didn't know. <laughs> uh, aren't you no, feeling anything you right now? Okay, kill count. Let's go. There. One. Oh, yeah. Two. Nice. Okay. Three. Yeah. Yeah! Woo! Awesome! 11 kills! And, uh, I think we can assume that she knocks out and kills that guard, too, because she killed all the others, right? No, she's been captured. So, uh, that was Let's Play Hitman Absolution, Blackwater Park. Actually, that was our third to last stage. After this, we have only two more left. So... I hope you're getting excited for the end. I'm Nick Meister, and I'll see you next time.